Hello, welcome back. This week's video, we're going to make a center punch using mild steel, which is not a very good tool steel. But in the last video, you saw me make up a batch of this super quench. And, well, its job is to make mild steel suitably hard. It doesn't replace tool steel or high carbon steel, but it is a lot cheaper and good enough. So I got a bar of um, 5 eighths round. I think that's what I used. And we'll start with the striking end. You can see the cross section, kind of a hexagon. I'll measure out a length and cut it off. I think I started out with about 8 inches. Yeah. Call it that, cut to the center. And then we'll draw that out to a decent length. And I'm going to take it down to yeah, about 3 eighths of an inch round. And you've seen me do this. You don't need me to explain what's going on here. So why am I using mild steel and not something like S7 or H13? Because it's easy and cheap to get. I live in a small town and they scratch their heads and overcharge me every time I want something different but I can get mild steel all day long without having to have a conversation about it and yeah I could probably order the good stuff online but forty dollars and two weeks later uh, I'm still waiting on metal so this works and mild steel is easy to work so if you're just starting out, it's a mild steel. Make something. So here's the striking end. You see the little dishing at the top, the fish lips or cupping, whatever you want to call it. There's ways to control that, but 30 seconds on the grinder and I'll be flat. And there's the business end, working end. You can see why I cut to the center. It's already a, a cone. That's what I'm going for. So, less than a minute later, cleaned up the striking end, got rid of all the hard edges. And the same down here. Check it for straight. Yep. That is tolerably imperfect. Now I'll have a quick glance at the temperature chart. See where we're going. Down here at the bottom, this curry point. That's the point at which the metal loses its magnetic properties, so magnet doesn't stick. And right about where scale starts to uh, scale forms and sticks. Cherry, light cherry, 1550 degrees, that's what we're after. So there's my quench brine, stir it up. You can see I'm checking it with a magnet, figure out what my color is. That's my color. Yeah, you should go back and listen even one more time. That, that sound is what you're listening for. Normally that means you're at a good temperature and the metal has changed properties. So just keep rinsing it and you can see here that's the point at which it changes where the scale is a little bit different. From there up it should be nice and hard. You don't want to harden the entire chisel because you're going to hit the, hold this in your hand and hit one end with, with a hammer and if it breaks, you don't want it to break uh, where you're holding it. So if it's going to break, this one, if this one breaks, it'll break at the end uh, where it's hard, somewhere in that transition between soft and hard. Just a quick wire brushing. And that's it. I'd say start to finish 45 minutes maybe a dollar in materials. 
So we'll take a file, show you how the difference. Bites right in. Nice clean line. Yep, that's soft. I know it's out of focus. I uh, apologize. That's the camera. That's getting new one. And here we go. A couple of scrapes on that side. Same amount of pressure. You can see I'm scratching the surface. I'm not denting it, making a line. It's not biting into it. And that is good enough for my purpose. Let's see what we end up with. And it's about nine and a half. I know the parallax makes it look a little, little shorter than that, but it's about nine and a half inches, which is plenty long enough to put an inch above my hand and about four and a half inches below, which is a suitable amount of distance away from the hot work piece. Next video, we'll put this to use. Until then, thanks for watching.